Hi, I'm Wheeler Winston Dixon, James Ryan Professor of Film Studies at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, and we're going to talk a little bit about movie trailers. Movie trailers have changed dramatically in the last 20 or 30 years, um, or even longer than that. Originally, movie trailers were designed as teasers. Uh, they're called trailers because they trail the production of the film, but basically they're, they're basically afterthoughts, and what they would do is they would tease the audience into wanting to come and see the film, sell the sizzle, not the steak, in short. Um, they would give away as little as possible. They would showcase the stars, the special effects, whatever it was that the film had to offer. And they would offer tantalizing glimpses of the movie rather than a complete narrative rundown. But gradually, as audiences became more spoon-fed by contemporary filmmaking, which is quite frankly not as adventurous as the films of the 60s and 70s and 80s, as it becomes more commercial and more expensive, audiences demanded the entire plot be laid out for them um, in the film uh, when the trailer is being shown. So basically what you have now are, are trailers which pretty much give the entire movie away. And there's almost no point in actually seeing the movie because you can tell the entire plot. The trailers are four or five minutes long usually. And teaser trailers are now only reserved for films like the Saw movies or things like that because of censorship concerns. They have to cut material. But if they can tell you the narrative, they will. This will bring audiences into theaters more because they feel they're going to see what they expect and they're not going to get any surprises. It's sad though because I think the other trailer, earlier trailers for things like say the Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, or Hitchcock's fabulous trailer for Psycho where he basically takes the audience on a tour of the house but never really tells you what happens. You see even in daylight this place still looks a bit sinister. These are trailers which really uh, master the art of trailer making. And of course, Stanley Kubrick's wonderful trailer for Dr. Strangelove, which tells you absolutely nothing about the film. It just basically has questions like, why did US soldiers bomb their own base? Um, these were the trailers that really made the trailer an art form. Now, it's simply a form of commerce. My name is Wheeler Winston Dixon, and this is Frame by Frame.